Hi Pisces, it's time for our daily get together you guys. It is May 1st today already. So um, it's Wednesday, May 1st, 2024. Let's look into your tarot cards and let's see what's going on here. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know right now at the time they're viewing this reading? All right, Pisces, let's look. Let's see what's going on. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know right now at the time they're viewing this reading? Okay, so the very first card you have is the Two of Swords. And I'm really feeling like this is something that happened in the past, Pisces. There's been this energy. It still could be continuing on, but I feel like... Um, you have messengers around you. There's birds around you. So you're picking up messages in your mind. Um, as you're blindfolded here, like, I don't know what to do. I don't know which direction to go. Um, confusion. Feeling literally like you have a blindfold over your eyes. Like you just don't know what to do. You're being pulled in two different directions. There's two different birds. There's two different messengers here in your head. One is telling you to go one way. The other is telling you to go the other way. And then you have the two of pentacles. I feel like you made a decision here. The two of pentacles is in reverse. So <laughs> you made a decision And I'm not really seeing the death card in between it. So I feel like you made a decision. You started to make something happen here. There's three people here. I don't know if that's significant. But the number three is a smaller number in the pentacles. So it's something small that you started to do or to work on. Um... So at least you were making a decision, okay? Because I'm feeling like you just wanted some escape here. You have the Queen of Wands and the Four of Pentacles coming out now. Whatever this decision was, it made you feel really good, Pisces. It, it gives you a lot of confidence here with the Queen of Wands energy. And the Four of Pentacles is here, so... It's almost like you could have um, been feeling like I need to, you know, like I need to really hold on to my money. I want this really bad, but it, it may cost financially, but um, I'm going to go for it. So I see you going for it here. And we're going to go back and clarify all of the cards, but um, that's what's showing up in the past. Tell me what Pisces needs to know. You have the Eight of Pentacles here. You have the Six of Cups in the center of your reading. And then you have the Four of Wands. Whatever this energy is that you chose here, Pisces, even though you you felt like it could cost you financially, um, I'm seeing it makes you happy right now in the present moment with the Four of Wands. It feels like it was worth it to me. If it, it, it as I look through the current energy here in the center, there's something here that you're working on. You got a candle in your hand. You have a feather there, a plant, stones. 
and you're you're definitely um aligning with your soul's purpose here with the six of cups showing up which is leading you to the four of wands it feels good when you're in this place um that you chose for yourself that you you're not selfish i can tell you're not a selfish person but when you chose yourself here um it's it's leading you in the right direction all right you're kind of holding back and trying to get away from whatever energy it is here that has you feeling emotionally up and down feeling blindfolded feeling like you're being pulled in two different directions let's look into the future You have the chariot. This is cancer energy. This is the fastest moving card in the tarot deck to me, at least. Maybe not for everyone, but to me. Spirits knows it's to me it is. So they're going to send me messages, you know, according to my belief system. Something's coming in really, really fast here in the future, Pisces, with the chariot. It's a major arcana. It's a major event. And next to it, you have the five of wands. And then you have the ten of cups. I really, really like it. On the bottom of the deck, you have the six of swords and you have the eight of cups. I feel like... You felt like something here was missing, and so you needed to walk away, all right? And then next to it, you have the Six of Swords. It's like there's there's these, I feel like these birds are like something invisible in your mind, pulling strings, messengers, spirits, speaking to your mind, pulling you out of rocky, choppery water into calmer water here. But there's something here where you you needed to walk away. And I still don't see an ending here. So I still feel like whatever you walked away from, it these are not major arcanas either. They're not, you know, it's something that you did where you have a suitcase packed. You, you just kind of distanced yourself. From whatever energy this is right here, where you felt like, I just cannot make a decision. I just cannot make a decision. Um, let's look at it. Let's see what's going on here. Why is the Two of Swords here? You have the Ten of Wands. This is... A lot of responsibility. It's like I see the suitcase right here again too. It's almost like packing lightly, needing to needing to just walk away. Something became too heavy, too burdensome for you with the Ten of Wands, but you couldn't make a decision. You couldn't completely end something. Yeah, you have someone here you're connecting with, all right? We have the King and the Queen of Swords. <laughs> and within this connection here with the King and the Queen of Swords, something became very heavy, all right? There was a lot of responsibility here on your back. And so this within this connection... This is where I'm seeing you taking a step back into the Nine of Pentacles energy where you have like a getaway or some space here where you go, where you can be alone and it makes you feel really, really good. That's what I'm picking up here, the Nine of Pentacles. This is you single outside of whoever that person is. And then you have the two of pentacles in reverse. So you made a decision here to choose yourself. You 
you took control here. This is Aries energy, the emperor. You took control. It, it felt like you were playing a game of chess. Like you weren't really sure whether it was the right decision. But yet, it it was a decision at least. So this is Aries energy. And then you have the three of wands next to the page of pentacles. You have a plan now. It's like you've made the decision. And I, I'm seeing here that you have a plan. But you're standing in a position here of waiting until you do the plan. All right. I don't know why, what you're waiting for here, but it's like you're waiting um, before a plan is, is happening for you. And the next cards, regardless of your gender, is you're showing up as the Queen of Wands and you're have and the Four of Pentacles here. So you're holding back from um, this person with the King and the Queen of Swords. You're holding back. Tell me why the Queen of Wands is here. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm telling you, you started something new. You have the Ace of Pentacles and you have Strength, Leo Energy. It was difficult for you because I really feel like you had to choose you. All right? And, um... This person that you're dealing with here in the past, they could have been pulling out a side of you that you didn't like, maybe anger or something. And so you chose you. And on the Ace of Pentacles here, you can see that there's roots here someplace. Not a lot of roots, but there's, there's something here within this space that you've created. I... I feel like you've done something here before for some of you guys. It's a, it could be a place you're familiar with or whatever this energy is where you're you're holding back and just getting away from it all. Um, I feel like it's something where there's some roots there already. And then you have the Eight of Pentacles here. Four of Swords, the Five of Cups, and the Four of Cups. Something's making your mind drift away. Look, Pisces, you have the Four of Cups here. You may be having, you know, like a hard time focusing, and that may be why you're putting... Things that could have something to do with work on hold. You're having a hard time focusing. Um, you have the Five of Cups here and you have the Four of Swords. So you're in a healing energy here with the Four of Swords. You put your heart beside you. All right. It's like you need your rest. You need your time away from whoever this person is. And you put your heart beside you here. And I I really feel like you're holding back your feelings from whoever that is there. Because the Five of Cups is showing up here. Like as if you could have little to no communication with this person. And you may feel a bit... Of regret because you're not allowing whoever this is into your space like you want to be um, you want to be with this person but you want to be on them on the, with on the same level and they're not on the same level with you so I'm feeling like whoever this is you cannot tell them everything and that's why this sadness is showing up here because you do care about this person this person you think about very often with the Six of Cups showing up here. Tell me why the Six of Cups is here.
You have the Three of Cups, Judgment, and the Tower. Whoever this person is that you're thinking about a lot, um, it's are you standing in the middle of um, making a decision about a reconciliation here with them or a tower moment, like just letting it go? Because the decision is judgment here. It's like time to make that decision that you've put off. And to let things change. Do you see the butterflies here? Tell me more about the tower. See, the devil here is calling you back. You have death and you have the knight of wands. Capricorn energy is here with the devil. There's someone here you're attached to. This person's very attractive. Um, this person... You could actually feel like this, like putting your hands over your ears when they talk to you. Because I feel like whoever this is, is very manipulative. And so the choice is yours. Is this a death or is this a rebirth? All right. This is Scorpio energy because you got someone here that... Is very attractive, very nice looking, very flirtatious, and it's it seems to be this energy is a temptation when they're around you. They kind of lure you in to their world. The next card you have is you have the Four of Wands showing up. But you still, whatever it is that you were trying to make a decision in the past about, those strings have not completely been cut. You still feel in darkness. You still feel unsure if you're making the right decision. Tell me why the Four of Wands is here. The moon wants to come out again. This is Pisces Cancer energy. Tell me about this. Boy, you're really thinking about it, but there's this shadow of the moon, this energy of you're not sure, but you're ascending somewhere else. I don't know if this is a physical place where you're working and building at, but there's something new here where you're building a separate foundation from this person it's like you've separated your energy you're ascending in your mind this is like a staircase the ace of swords it's like there's no way that with this ascending energy this rebirth you're going through that you're gonna stay here with this type of an energy that makes leaves you feeling stuck your mind's not letting you your mind wants more. This person doesn't want more. This person wants to keep you down. All right, so let's lift up these cards and let's look into the future now, Pisces. You have the Chariot, the Five of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. There's an energy coming at you really, really fast here. Let's look into it. Let's see what's going on, Pisces. See what is coming towards you so fast here in the future. Okay. 
Yep. Look at that. Someone's coming towards you really fast. You have a choice to make. Gemini energy is here with the lovers. Someone here is moving towards you really, really fast here in the future. I don't know what type of difficulty it is that stands in between the two of you. But that devil energy, it's like the angel is showing up here in the future and you need to make a choice. The decision is showing up again. Feels very frustrating to me, like, hmm, <laughs> when will this ever end? The Queen of Wands. Oh, the devil's there again. I want to see something, you guys, because I'm wondering if you have a choice between two or what is going on here. Spirits, why is the two of cups here? See? This two of cups... It's the Ten of Cups. There's a home. There's happiness here. There's love. There's everything you want. But why is the devil here? This is this devil energy. It's coming from you, Pisces. You need to let go of. There's something here that you're attached to with the devil showing up. This is Capricorn energy. There's, there's some type of an energy around you that I'm seeing you letting go of. You have the Five of Pentacles. The moon is Pisces energy. You may have some cancer in your chart. But there could be a second energy here too that, that you've been holding on to, that you've been afraid to let go of. But whatever this energy is that leaves you feeling sadness, um, whatever you're you're walking with here because there's another energy walking with you it's like you put yourself out out of the building out of out of what you really desire to walk with someone it's codependency i see you letting go of it this is aries energy the fool it's like you're releasing this devil energy. Tell me who the Queen of Wands is. Yeah, see, there, there's someone here. This is Taurus energy, the Hierophant here. But there, there's someone here that it's, a, it's become codependent here where this person... They follow you around. They kind of hang on to your coattails. And um, it's it's not going nowhere. You have the Seven of Pentacles here. So I'm seeing you choosing between two, actually. You could be releasing someone um, that you've been feeding codependent energy to and letting them go on on their own. Tell me why the Five of Wands is here. Judgment. The Three of Wands. And Justice, Libra Energy. Whew. You're really fighting an inner battle about this Pisces about letting this go and rebuilding again. You have Leo energy here with strength. 
there's something that you've been carrying around for a long time with the Ten of Wands. And um, judgment is here. This is the universe um, stepping into your life and saying, I'm giving you... I'm giving you this Ten of Cups, this happily ever after. Uh, what are you going to choose? Because for some reason you have to choose to let go of something here that's really hard to let go of. You have Justice and you have the Three of Wands. It's almost like you've been waiting for this. Waiting for your Justice carrying around burdens the more you carry it around the more you realize it's never going away tell me why the ten of cups is here the hanged man pisces energy and you have temperance sagittarius energy and you have the Ten of Wands. There's some type of an energy here with the Ten of Wands that you have been holding on to for a very long time. You've been afraid to stand up and walk away from it. And it just keeps getting bigger and harder and harder and harder to carry. And it's out of ten. The universe has stepped into your life here and is bringing judgment to you. A decision has to be made. Um, justice has to happen. Even though you're fighting this justice, you're fighting an inner battle. You're trying to, you're trying to grab at sticks here. There's nothing left to grab at. Everything that was balancing you in being codependent or being stuck with someone here in your life is falling out from underneath your feet. It's all falling down. You have tried and tried different strategies. You've went here, you've went there, you've tried all of these different strategies. Well, no more. There, there's no more straws to grab onto. It's being dropped. So look at the bigger picture, Pisces. This is you. This is the hanged man. This time you must choose you. All right. There's no more. There, there's nothing left to grab on. You've been pulling this energy around with you, pulling strings, just barely making it by. And now, look at the bigger picture here. All right, you have temperance. You need to, you need to focus on your happiness here with the Ten of Cups. There could be other people here that, that you, you have been ignoring or something because you've been doing this for so long that you didn't even realize you were doing it. All right, so that's very interesting, Pisces. Let's look at the Eight of Cups and the Six of Swords. There, There's something here that is so hard for you to walk away from with the Eight of Cups here. But there, the universe with judgment here, it's like you really don't have a choice. It's time for you to move on. And I can see you moving on here and um, into a different place with the Six of Swords. Tell me why the Eight of Cups is here. I don't know who this person is that you're walking away from or what this energy is that you've been fighting for for so long. But the, I'm telling you the fight is over here. You 
you're worried about whoever this is, whatever this is. It keeps you up at night. You're you're still giving to it a little bit, but you're you're having to breadcrumb. You can't feed it as much as you were. And you're fighting yourself. You're resisting it, this walking away. But you must walk away. I don't know why you must, but you must walk away. The universe is stepping in, but you're going someplace here. Tell me why the Six of Swords is here. You have the Ace of Swords. You're going to understand everything that has happened here, Pisces. The Four of Wands, you're going to understand it with such clarity here with the Ace of Swords. It's all going to make sense to you. What you've been holding on to, what is coming to an end that hurts so bad. You've been holding on to it. The understanding that you're going to come to here is this is your understanding. This is the Ace of Swords. Is you're going to realize that whoever you felt attached to, they're happy and you're happy here with the Four of Wands. There's two people walking underneath this, this wreath. So there's been codependency here. There's someone here that you've been walking beside for so long now and um it's it's time for you to walk away all right and your understanding here is going to be it's going to be okay all right you guys so that was rough because it feels really really like this is hard for you to do but push through any insecurity. This is first quarter moon in Cancer. And then you have new moon in Capricorn. It's time for you to step up and to lead Pisces. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know? Full moon in Aquarius. Be real. All right. On the bottom of the deck, you have first quarter moon in Libra. Keep your heart open. And then I want you guys to choose your angel answer cards. So choose number one, number two, or number three, or as many of these messages as you're feeling called to choose. Spirits are telling all of you guys to ask for help from others. Don't be afraid to ask for help from others, okay? And then you have number one, number two, and you have number three. So if you chose number one, your angels are telling you to remain positive. That's what I keep getting. Everything's going to be okay. Number two, forgiveness. Number three, look for a sign. Watch for the numbers 11, 11, 3, 3, 3, you guys. Your angels are going to be telling you they're with you. They're going to be guiding you with the numbers 11, 11. You're going the right way. You're doing the right decisions here. So these are the messages that came out for you guys. It's a very deep reading today. Um, I hope it um, sheds some light on the situation and helps you see the bigger picture of what's happening in your energy. Remember to take what resonates and leave the rest. And remember, I love you guys to the moon and back, Pisces, and we'll meet here again tomorrow. Namaste.